Hey, boy. Hey. Hey, folks, this is Mark at E-Mountain Bike Adventures Bend, Oregon. There's my dog, Buddy, my pal. Awesome, super awesome dog. He's going to go off and do dog things in the backyard like he enjoys. But this is a review, as you know from the title, of the Schwinn Scamp pet trailer, which I think is fantastic. And uh, now we're looking at my totem uh, E-Mountain bike, which is fantastic in every way. And I've got a full review on that bike, which I got from Amazon. You don't have to get things from Amazon, but that's where I shop because it's convenient. And I live in a small town in Oregon and, and blah, blah, blah. Free shipping and stuff. But anyway, so I, I, uh, I use this trailer uh, mostly with my E-Mountain bike here because um, I can cruise around with a little electric uh, pedal assistance when I want it. And the bike and the trailer love each other. The uh, trailer doesn't, you know, wear down the battery faster on the bike. It doesn't screw up the handling. It's just really fantastic. Uh, and that's why we're doing a review on this trailer. But anyway, this bike is the uh, the Totem Victor e-bike, which is fantastic in my opinion. And again, I've got a full review of the bike and a bunch of really cool ride videos. Uh, especially FPV videos where I've got the camera on the bike and you can see the terrain whizzing past and whatnot. And see what's going on with the, with the bike. Uh, and then I also have a Mongoose Status 2.2, very inexpensive, uh, $239, that one from Amazon, Mongoose Status 2.2, full suspension, mountain bike, I uh, also pull this trailer with that, and it does really great with that even, you know, it really does, so I've got this up here, which is an aircraft uh, windsock, I fly RC airplanes, right, so when I'm pe when I'm pedaling the, uh, the trailer and the bike, I've got this up there because it helps motorists for sure see my dog trailer, my dog's trailer because he's in there he's the most important thing in my life so this makes sure that people are going to see the dog trailer with it which has my dog in it number two when i'm flying out the airplanes I, I put one on the top of the of the uh, trailer and me and buddy go out to a big park here in bend oregon and then before i fly the plane i can see which direction the wind is uh, going with the wind socks for, uh, so i know my takeoff and landing direction and so on so there you go that's why there's a big orange wind sock on there okay so uh, let's just take a look at the trailer, uh, from some different angles, and the bike, and a bike. Alright, so there it is there. Now, currently on Amazon, this is, I believe, $108, $118. This is the small version, they have an, a large version. This is the small version for dogs up to 50 pounds, and my dog is about 20, probably. Okay, um, I've done a lot of riding with this trailer. And the two different mountain bikes that I use, I've ridden uh, on pavement, going in, going, uh, doing town, you know, rides in town. I've doing, uh, done uh, trailing. I've done mountain bike uh, riding on trails, dirt trails with rocks and whatnot with uh, this bike and this trailer. And this video is about the trailer, so that's the most important thing. Yeah, so I've run this trailer uh, behind my bikes, one of my bikes, this one. With my dog Buddy in there, and I'll tell you a bit more about that, uh, how I keep it safe. But it works fantastic for riding on trails within reason. They got to be wide enough, and they got to be not too bumpy or too, you know, nothing technical. Uh, so again, you can uh, it's fantastic all around town. It's fantastic, uh, you know, on uh, you know dirt roads and like that. It's even fantastic on, on trails, on modest trails, uh, though they're modest in difficulty. They have great scenery. Uh, so, okay, so that's just a general thing. I love the trailer, everything about it, okay? So, we'll go in a little deeper. So, let's uh, just get some look, looks at it, some closer looks at it. All right, there's a side view. And again, this is the Schwinn Scamp Pet Trailer for dogs up to 50 pounds. And uh, there's, I really like this in a lot of ways, which I'll describe to you. But right now we're just looking at its coolness pretty much. Now we're going to look through the spokes here at the uh, connection to the bike. You can see right here a spring. Finger there. Right there there's a spring and that's very important. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. There's the toe arm. Okay. And there's this view. Now my dog buddy here, he's a rescue and I've only had him about four or five months. And he was real skittish when I got him, real skittish just about everything. Uh, and at first he was skittish about this trailer, but boy, he really, he loves it now. It, we can go, I've got video of him. I've got video that's attached to the back of the bike facing towards the trailer. 
so we're ripping along some trails that are that are easy but we're ripping along some trails and he's in there we got the top down and he's enjoying himself like crazy if you watch those videos or that video uh and the title of it is something along the lines of uh, uh my dog buddy's first trail ride okay so anyway there's that view rear view okay and actually now let me tell you this they uh the trailer actually comes so you can see that if you're a car approaching <laughs> you can see that windsock uh the, the trailer actually comes with this two-piece i think it's fiberglass pole and it fits into to a slot provided there for the pole and it comes with a little tiny flag on it but the flag wasn't big enough and it also blew off so that's why i did this okay so now let's look a little bit closer um uh yeah let's look a little bit closer to come around this way so now here's where this connects to the bike and it's really great i think now first of all this here is connected to a strap that wraps around like this and this is your safety strap right uh this is your in case something were to happen up in here break or something crazy happen up here this strap will still hold the trailer arm to the hitch on the bike right so that's what this is and this is is how you remove the hitch uh, and install the hitch so if you want to take the hitch off you pull up on this there we go pull up on this like this a little hard holding the camera like this there we go you pull up on that there we go and this comes out now I've got this safety gear on there so we'll pull that out of there right, no production problem okay there we go so now so this, there we go, so this, it's in here, this is the safety deal, so this is the pin, this pin, this pin here is literally what holds the trailer arm here to the trailer hitch on the bike here, and then this is an ingenious but simple safety device, keeps the pin from coming out, this comes down here, lift it up, and put it like that, you see that dead center screen, locked. And then this is it makes a perfect place because this is connected to the hitch, so this is the perfect place to connect your <coughs> to connect your safety strap here, right? See if I can do this one-handed while holding the camera right here. Oh, we're so close, we're so close, folks, we're so very close. We're so close. There we go. Ready? One-handed videography. Here we go. So we clip this on. That's better. One handed, we can do this. Ready? Oh, let me cry. Oops. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Ready? Ready? Go. Uh, okay, I'm doing it wrong. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? This is the big scene. The big scene you've all been waiting for is the clipping scene. Ready? Oh, we did it. So there's your safety strap. See? Way cool. Now, here's that spring I was talking about. Right in here. Okay. And it's really important. It may not look like much, but this spring extends, you know. And what this spring does, and if you watch my video uh, where I go uh, with my dog in here and we go on his first trail ride, if you watch that video, uh, you'll see, because again, the camera's pointed back at the trailer, you can see how much this stabilizes the ride of the trailer. It's very stiff, so it prevents the trailer from wanting to twist uh, side to side like that, and it also uh, dampens bumps, you know. Uh, you know, one, you know if, if it's a bump on one side... The spring uh, wants to resist twisting in either direction. It wants to resist that. So if the trailer bumps up, it's putting tension on the spring, and then once it's over the rock or whatever, and the tension uh, is and the uh, what the obstacle is, uh, has been overcome, then the natural spring tension puts it back to normal, right? So again, a bump on the right side of our screen. There's enough spring uh, looseness to have it go up, but it's got tension on it, and you go over the bump, and then once you're over that bump, the spring will naturally return to its normal tension. Same thing if you got a rock on the left. Boom, bends the spring, but the spring wants to go back as soon as the bump's gone and the, and the resistance is gone and boom, goes back to level. So it keeps the, tra the tra trailer very stable, side to side, uh, you know, bouncing, whether this kind of a bouncing or this kind of a bouncing, uh, it just keeps it really, really stable, which is fantastic. Um, so let's see what else. Okay, and then... Uh, okay, and, and it's, everything's sturdy. This hitch is really, really sturdy. This arm is very, very sturdy steel. Here's where the arm meets the trailer. Nice weld, nice clean welding there. Okay, and you, you can see there's also a similar, there's another pin here, which holds 
with a safety dealio which holds the hitch to the trailer here you know okay and then and I imagine they make another a size a larger size and I imagine if you had a larger dog you could just oh, I don't know what I imagine just forget that <laughs> I'm not quite sure why you can remove it here and here maybe for better storage that's why I bet you that's why you can remove the arm uh, to make it more compact for storing when not in use okay fine um, okay the tires are great you know they don't have an aggressive tread but it works in everything including snow and mud uh, nice uh, aluminum alloy rims okay uh, I've got some aftermarket uh, not included uh, lights on here to make sure that we're going to be seen yep they're USB rechargeable I don't know if we can see them yeah, you can see them yeah there you go. So get that. Just to be rechargeable. Um, comes with a reflector here. There you go. There you go. Uh, little pocket here to store things in, like little uh, poop bags or whatever. Um, okay. Uh, and then the fr anyway, the frame is steel. Let's finish talking about the frame. Everything's really nicely designed, I think, and 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 made. Let's see, here's the, the curve here. Hardware there. See how everything fits together. Really nice hardware situation going on. I think really nice. Um, better give Schwinn, better give Schwinn some credit for this. As you can see, mesh window 